he came home winter break of his freshman year at the Naval Academy, which is his plebe year, and told me what life was like at the academy. And, you know, I said, I said well, I have a problem with authority. So um, <laughs> you, you go be a Navy SEAL. And, you know, I always knew from it, like the by the time I was, my parents knew before I knew that I was going to be an engineer because every toy they'd buy me, I'd tear it apart and try to figure out how it worked or make nice. it better or whatever. And uh, so I said, you go be a Navy SEAL. I'll be an engineer and somehow I'll figure out a way to make you guys cool shit. And so uh, flash forward to 2004 and he was a Navy SEAL over in Virginia Beach and um, a former colleague of mine, Nate Harding, one of the other co-founders of EXO, he called me up and he said, hey, we're working on this project at UC Berkeley. It's a DAR- It was part of the DARPA project back then, the Bleak's exoskeleton project. And he showed me this video um, of this you know, big hydraulic exoskeleton walking around and uh, with Adam. And th- I didn't know Adam at the time, but I know Adam now. Nice. Adam walked around in this thing and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. And he said, yeah, we're looking to do another rev of it. You know, you want to come up and help. And I was like, oh, absolutely. This is it. Like I can go, you know, do what I said, help my brother. This is for the soldiers. The whole point was to to reduce the injuries uh, that soldiers were suffering due to overburdening and load carriage, right? With all the body armor and the gear they're carrying. Yeah. So I said, yeah, 